Hi guys! Thanks for tuning in to Zen Romance Tarot. We're going to take a look at the Scorpio Taurus relationship. I tried to take this a couple of times. I kept running out of storage and I had to go and delete some stuff. I deleted the whole thing because I did not want to put out a part two of the relationship. Like, I don't want to do that. Okay, so guys, I did meditate over these cards and we're going to take a look at the energies. I pulled these. Hmm. We have somebody in this connection who feels like something is falling apart and they're trying to figure out if there's any grasp. There was some sort of disruption here. I don't know. It was a disruption in a relationship. I don't know if it had to do with, well, obviously it had to do with behaviors, but um, there was some kind of disruption. Right. So this disruption warns of disasters. This is a tower card. So there was something that happened that was unforeseen. Nobody saw it coming or you didn't see it coming, but I'm going to say you didn't see it coming because I feel like if this were reversed, it was like you knew it was going to happen, yet you ignored it. So I'm going to say there was something that kind of caught you by surprise here. However, whatever this is that happened, it also aids in transformation. So whatever this tower moment is that you had or having in this connection, um, I just kind of feel like you're going to learn something from it. That's the first energy. The next one I'm getting is somebody hmm, well, let's take a look at this now this is the king of cups this is god seeing everything okay this is restitution now i've been telling you guys for a little while it's been coming up in a ton of the readings for like all signs um that you might want to check your paperwork because i feel like something is not right with the paperwork right so i feel like somebody i feel like some of you guys need to go ahead and check your paperwork and answer some anonymous phone calls or whatever because somebody could be trying to tell you that you have to pay restitution for something you're not responsible for that's for some of you others of you there's going to be restitution paid to you for something right okay um this card also kind of finds things that are stolen like stolen objects and it discovers the person responsible so there's somebody who took something from you and whoever did this or whatever this is whether it be uh, financial affairs at heart. Whoever took something from you is going to be revealed who they are. Okay. I'm going to put this over here for that energy. Really? I'm, hold on, guys. Hey, I guess they're house fixing. Let me go ahead and get this done. Okay. Sorry, guys. The next energy that I'm showing is the God who rejoices. So the God who rejoices, this talks about divine comfort, consolation, and protection against their enemies, right? This talks about something new. So I don't know if this is a newer relationship between you guys or a new beginning for you guys. I'm not sure what this is about, but I feel like this is a relationship that's been around for a little bit, could have some time to it. I feel like for people who are fairly new, maybe two to three years in, I feel like there's somebody in your energy for whoever this person is i feel like there's somebody who's not happy about your relationship the newness of your relationship all right so this is a protection against your energies and your your enemies and i kind of feel immediately that it has to do with um affairs of the heart i don't know if you have a connection to somebody obviously prior to this but they're not wishing you the best all right guys in this connection let me go ahead and get my water Partnerships and alliances. Notice this reversed. This talks about expression, groups, and growth. So this is somebody desiring a partnership that's a little bit more aligned, right? I want to be partners with you. We're having a conflict with this. We're not, you know, we're not communicating. We're not expressing ourselves. So this is you, right? Or this could be you if this were to turn out. Starting to see the fruits of your labor, right? This card is saying that there needs to be an even exchange of energy in this partnership, and currently there is not. We have rest and rejuvenate. To us, that talks about manifestations, found, uh, foundations, and stability. So this card is telling us that there's a period of time that needs to be taken so you can rest from something, probably from this relationship. Who's got a dog in the car? Okay. Probably from this relationship, you're trying to gain some kind of knowledge on something. So there's manifestation. There's something that you want to come out of it. Like, I want to turn this around. I want to take a minute. I want to see how I can connect the dots. How can we do things differently? How can we connect? 
I see that for somebody in this connection, there's a lot of obstacles and challenges. And that's telling us that there's a power struggle here. It's like, I'm, I'm struggling to take my stance with you. I'm struggling, I'm struggling with my position. There's some kind of conflict. Conflict, change, instability, obstacles, and challenges. So, this talks about kind of like taking the time to kind of observe what's going on in a relationship and realizing where adjustments need to be made. Okay. Now, we have another energy here which is dealing with intuition, like I have a third eye. There's some things that I see. I focus in wisdom or I'm walking in wisdom. Detachment, discernment, inspiration, knowledge, and trusting in a higher source. That's what the third eye is about. So an area of opportunity, a growth area, which I feel like for this person is enhanced right now, is intuition and imagination. Okay, this is somebody who kind of like, knows what it is that they want. They're trying to go after it. I'm trying to think of how I can artfully and tastefully go after something, or I obtained I obtain some sort of information. I have some forethought into something that could actually help me plan accordingly. Okay. We also have some conflict here, though. This one talks about finding harmony in something with the uh, third eye chakra. You're looking to find harmony, cooperation, and healing. So this tells me that there could have been some, I believe, painful words said between you guys. I don't know. We'll, we'll get to that. However, there is a feeling of defeat with this person. This person is like, okay, there's got to be some kind of significant change in order for me to turn this around. This person might at this point in a relationship lack sensitivity. And they're just, they're just like hard to move, hard to gauge. But I believe it's in response to some, to some actions that I see maybe over here. I'm not sure. There's some kind of energy that you guys have. I feel like this person's trying to be in a spiritual place and trying to handle things and realizing that there's conflict. But I'm also trying to figure out if I want to move on from this. Moving on. Okay. This card talks about a much needed delay. Some kind of a much needed break from this relationship. Okay. It talks about moving on. It talks about leaving things behind. But it also talks about a difficult period for this person coming to an end. Okay. So this could be you guys as a couple moving on from a... Um, from some kind of situation that may have recently happened, whether it have to do with affairs of the heart or finances, as a couple, you could have gone through something recently and somebody's deciding, you know what, I'm going to let it go now. I'm praying about it. I'm healing. I still have some conflict. I'm working on that. But ultimately, I want to move on from this. So it could be that too. Or this person could just be like, I want to move on from this. Okay, so what are the areas of opportunity here? We have financial and material changes. That's one of the things I believe that is fueling some of the issues that we're having here in this connection, right? Financial and material changes. So that tells us that there has been uh, some kind of instability, a change, or conflict having to do with finances. Okay, that's one thing. This card is also telling us that these are losses around you. So some things, maybe some of you guys had to... I don't know, maybe you can't drive a range no more and you got to drop to Audi, I don't know, something like that, where maybe you have to trade off or you have to, I don't know, like drive down or whatever, whatever that means to you, there's some kind of changes here and these changes need to be made, they need to be focused on because ultimately it's adding strain to this relationship, okay, we also have movement choices and decisions, this is too, so this is talking about the decisions and things that need to be focused on, so we know that money is an issue here in this connection, Right, so There are some changes that need to be made. We also know that with the partnerships, balance, and duality, there are some things that you guys are not on the same page. And some decisions need to be made about, and there need to be significant changes that need to be made about choices. And choices and demands and business, choices and relationships. This needs to, I think you guys are, what you're trying to do is turn this around and be, I don't want to say power couple. But I think you're trying to turn this around. Like, can we can we get can we get on the same page financially? There's some struggles here, there's some demands, but this is where we need to be. We need to make decisions about this. Ultimately, and I don't know, I'm not sure. It looks like you guys are. I think what we have here, I'm seeing two people who are trying to fight. I'm gonna be honest with you. I see two people who realize there's one person who's like, this is not aligned. I need to take some rest. I need to revamp and figure out how I can. Uh, rejuvenate this relationship if I want to keep it. There's some trouble. There's a lot of challenges. It's a lot of work. So somebody's acknowledging, I want to, I'm trying to figure out it's a lot of work, but how can I do it? 
We also have somebody here who is, they have great intuition. They realize there's conflict and that either they're putting something behind them, meaning some argument recently had, or they're choosing to walk away from this. Ultimately, I feel like both you guys kind of struggle with the challenges you may have with each other because we have people here and you guys are both desire and expression. I need to know how you feel. I need to know how I can make it better. I think you guys need to communicate to figure out how we can make this better. We have the main energy for this reading. What is this one? Okay. The main energy for this reading is Six of Diamonds. This card talks about charity. It talks about harmony and it talks about cooperation. All right. So I kind of feel like there's somebody in this connection who's really been trying, right? But I also feel like somebody in this connection is a little mouthy. And they, and they say a lot. And I think that they may have said some things that cut somebody else to the core. And if it weren't true, then this person would feel better. But whatever you said to this person is actually true. And that's actually charity, guys. Charity, harmony, and cooperation. So whatever you guys, uh, whatever you said to this person was actually very true. And I think it cut them. Right. But I also think that somebody may have been obviously I believe this has to do with money and communication because I feel like somebody was given more equal distribution of energy in this relationship is what is required. OK, I feel like there's somebody who is trying to heal from whatever was said or they're trying to heal from something that probably happened in the past. You know, some past things may come up healing, preserves health and cures diseases. So this person is focused on like, um, I don't want to say a green living, just like a more spiritual type of living maybe. Uh, and I think that, I don't know, I just think this person might be right now deep in the spirituality, but also healing. I think there are a lot of things that need to be healed. I don't know that this person, I think that this person may have not as much to give. And I feel like there's somebody that might be giving more. And because of this, somebody might feel like they're giving a little bit too much and it's causing financial and material changes in the connection. There's some decisions that need to be made about can we turn this around, but somebody's also looking for recognition. I see somebody who's trying to rest and rejuvenate and somebody who's trying to deal with the fact that I know that there's conflict, but what can I do about it? I see two people that really might want to work it out or try. Okay, let's see what the energy is. Yeah, and love. Now, I really hope. Yeah, there. Yeah. Okay. All right, let's see what the energy is in love. Let's see if this can be turned around. These. Ancestors, I gotta shuffle these. Ancestors, please tell me about Scorpio and Taurus, please. Ancestors, what do I really want to know? Ancestors, tell me about their energy and love with movement decisions, movement choices and decisions, ancestors, with the partnership balance and duality. Express your love. Go ahead and express your love. Go ahead and make the romantic gesture. Okay, so I feel like there's a strain here. There's a little bit of a strain. I feel like there's somebody who's doing as much as they can. And I think somebody might be expecting a little bit too much from somebody who can't. They move a little different from you. Ancestors, one more. Children. Mm. Your love life is being affected by children. Mm -hmm. Okay. So somebody got child support. <laughs> I know that sounds crazy, but that's real. There could be a financial strain because of child support. Therefore, I'm not giving as much to this current household. I don't know. That could be that's somebody's scenario. Now, remember, somebody in this connection is getting restitution. That's back pay, or I, I don't know, however you want to look at it. Ancestors, tell me one more. Ooh, is this messy? No, it's not messy. We just got some stuff to figure about, about our relationship. This, to me, is basically just, let's see, one more. It's safe for you to love. Open your heart. Open your heart to give and receive the highest energy of all. And I believe this has to do with this connection. So I don't know that you guys really want to 
get rid of this. I think you guys both realize there are some challenges in this connection that need to be dealt with. We know that it could be spilling over from, I don't know if you guys, I don't know if somebody's getting uh, restitution, child support or something. There's something having to do with money and something having to do with children. There's something having to do with charity. Yeah. Charity, harmony, and cooperation. That word cooperation is something else, boy. I tell you, it's a big one. Um, yeah, but charity, harmony, cooperation. This has to do with somebody got to pay child support somewhere. They have some bills that are going out or there's something here. But this person is helpless. They can't really do anything about it. That's what it seems like. This person is also looking for recognition and award. Notice that falls right next to children. Mm. Now, now. Who in this connection is looking for recognition and reward from their children? Is it because you paying restitution? I, I'm, I'm kidding. I don't know. I don't know. We're not turning this into Jerry Springer. I'm just saying this could have to do with children. It could have to do with the relationship. Somebody feels defeated. I feel like somebody's helpless. I feel like somebody's trying to heal from some stuff that was said to them about that bread. Mm, 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 mm. However, I still feel like I don't think this is all connected. I think these are two separate situations where somebody finds out something that was stolen from them. There was a person responsible for something. I think this is going to come out from something from the past for one of you. I don't think it pertains to this situation. Uh, but the disruption, that pertains to this situation. And the disruption, I believe, is finances. Okay, so I got your energy for that. We're going to go ahead and see if there are well, any messages. If I can find the message cards. Nope, not those. We want the nice cards. Where are they? Hang on, guys. <sighs> okay, you know what? I mean, I'll, I'll try these. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to do these. Okay. Let's switch it up a little bit. I'm fine with that. Ancestors. See that, right? <laughs> Let me shuffle these again. I shuffle these for a second because I just grab these out of out of the box. One second, guys. Okay, ancestors. Please give me messages for Scorpio and Taurus. Their relationship. Scorpio and Taurus, please. Ancestors. Scorpio and Taurus. Is this conflict going to be resolved? Is it okay for them to express their love to each other? Is now the right time? What answers or what advice or what do you have to say to this couple, please? Okay. Shuffle again. Okay. All right, let's see what this one is. I'm sure something I can't pronounce. Athena, inner wisdom. You know what to do. Trust your inner wisdom and take appropriate action without delay. So you might be being advised to follow your wisdom. I feel like this might be an established family or you guys have some extended, you know how you're together, but somebody may have children. Somebody could be divorced, you know, just a regular real life scenario that you see every day, right? So you might have somebody in this current situation who has to pay some kind of back something, whether it be whether it be child support or back bills or something like that, is having some kind of impact on a relationship. But I feel like somebody might be kind of sharp with the tongue in this connection. And I feel like it might hurt the other person and they're helpless to do anything. So in a sense, it's kind of like a bully. Ancestors, give me one more, please. Don't do that. Remember, whatever you put out into the universe, you get back. So you might want to be real careful with that. One more. Lakshini. Bright future. Stop worrying. Everything's going to be fine. Okay. It looks like you guys have some things to work through. I think there needs to be an understanding about whatever this money source is and why you got to change from your Rover to your, your Audi, your Rover to your Audi. Like why you have to step down in certain things like that. So there might be some conversations had about how we can make this work. And unfortunately... Uh, in a relationship, you kind of have to equal distribution. So maybe one of y'all going to keep your BMW and the other one, I'm sorry. you just going to have to get one of them other cars. 
I don't know. Equal distribution. I think that you, that's something that you guys are working through. Ancestors, one more card, please. One more card, please. One more card, please. Okay. Bast, independent. Your independence is a foundation for your strength and success. Now, this is reverse. And maybe some of you guys, maybe you're looking to gain financial independence. That could be a thing here, too. Hmm. Okay. So I don't know that you're basting in independence right now, but soon. <laughs> all right. All right, guys, that's all I got for you. Thank you so much for tuning in to Zen Romance Terrell. Just a quick relationship read for June 2021, Scorpio and Taurus. All right, guys, love you. Bye.